I found salvation in a barber shop on 233rd Street in the Bronx. Brother Powell's Big Three Barber Shop. Ah, oh, that man had so much going on in there. He was a big brother, a Georgia brother, a robust brother. That brother walked on blessed ground. I mean, that brother was walking on holy ground. You'd walk up there, he said, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Glory! Someone say amen! Amen! Someone say amen! Amen! Someone say amen! I'll suck it to you, brother! That's right! Go on your brother power, take it easy, man. I just came in here to get a haircut, yo. That's right, boy. We gonna just cut you up today. Just make you look special, cause that's what y'all doing. You're special in our eyes. I mean, that brother had a jumping barbershop. It was a combination church and barbershop. He had seven barbers on one side, seven barbers on the other side. They were all ministers. They cut hair six days a week, and on the seventh day, they saved your soul. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He had gospel music playing up on that on that on that stereo he had a sermon going on on a tv set yes lord he'd be dancing and cutting and dancing and cutting and dancing because that brother could dance when he was cutting hair he was the swiftest hair cutter he just hook you up man line you up glory glory and all the time he'd be talking to you talking and dancing and cutting talking and dancing and cutting and when he thought he had you right in the palm of his hand he would reach right in and say Son, have you found Jesus? Jesus? What? Is he missing? Jesus? Have I found Jesus? Eh, I think my mother got him breakdancing on a cross in the house. Jesus? Yo, Jesus, he stole my car, yo. Have you seen him? No, son, have you, have you found Jesus? <laughs> you boys out here just, just acting all crazy. You think we don't know what you're doing, but you're acting crazy. <laughs> hey, brother, Jack today says he's acting crazy. Oh, that brother acting crazy. That brother always crazy. Hey, I think I have a problem. Shut up, boy. Hey, we're going to cut him up and let him know. Look, at, look at, you're just acting too crazy with the other people's out here. Just smoking that weed and gambling and just being nuts. But you got to believe, boy. You see, in the beginning, there was a beautiful game of love and wonderment. Yes, Lord. And that game was within the light. And whoever reaches for that light and brings back down to earth brings back peace. And to the extent of his reach is to bring back the divine. Be careful, Louis. You corrupting the beautiful game into the great game and compromising every truth along the way. Well, that man's spirituality, the poetry in his words, God, that hooked me up. I knew I had places to go, things to see. Things to write about. I was ready. I had an adventure up in my alley. And that was gonna go straight through. But first, Brother Powell leaned in and hooked me up before I left on my adventure. Yes, Lord, would you like to go have some breakfast after your cut? Free food? What Puerto Rican would pass that up? We went over to the diner on 233rd Street, right under the number two train. Brother Powell came in. He knew the whole place like the back of his hand. Hello, Sister Johnson. I love you all. Glory, peace and blessings. He sat down and commenced to ordering some food off that menu. I mean, that brother got some grits. He got some bits. He got some oatmeal. He got some toast. He got ham. He got eggs. He got a big pound of butter. He got a stack of pancakes. He got a big jug of coffee. He got some more sausage. And he said a, a prayer over all that food. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, and then reached over and grabbed a pack of sweet and low to put in his coffee. Now, me being the Puerto Rican that I am, I couldn't fast this up, man. I mean, I went real Puerto Rican on him. I said, Mira, 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 brother, pumpkin. Yo, brother Powell, yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, man, hi, man, you gonna put that sweet low up in that coffee when you got that big mountain of pancakes there in front of you? And he looked at me real sincerely and told me, son, you got to make an effort in some quarter.
It's a funny little life that we lead. It's amazing any of us get out of it alive.